Welcome to Limbus Company. This is a free-to-play game on Steam. If you've ever seen or played Lubami Corporation, this is the same maker. This is a story-rich, lore-rich RPG game. Plus, we'll kind of turn down the offer. I doubt we'll have that much freedom over our own bodies most of the time. She's one who spoke to me back in the forest. Her silver hair that glistens even without sunlight gives off a rather mysterious air. Dante. Dante? Come to think of it, the red-eyed man has been calling me that too. Dante is your name. The amnesia must be affecting you rather severely. Sure it looks like it. That doesn't sound like a familiar word. You'll get used to it in time. Wait, you can understand me? The group that attacked me earlier in the Virgi or whatever he was called seemed to hear nothing but ticking from me. Fools can hear what you intend to speak. You really can, but how? I don't even have a real mouth. Outdated ideas must be one of the side effects that came with your head replacement. It's an accuracy to think the vocal organs such as the cords or tongue are necessary to participate in conversations. Erica is right. Never consider that. You can limit the recipient of your words to one person or choose to speak to everyone at once. Ah, a little clarification. When I say everyone, I am only referring to the sinners. Sinners? The people who have taken seats behind you. And the ones who fought in your state until moments ago. What? Who? So thou art finding peace at computer journey, Kaz. How I have yearned for this moment. Say, pal, where do you sell your old cranium off? So it was you. Thanks for putting my spine back together into one piece. Were you just searching or something in the nest? Everyone, quiet. Nothing is more displeasing than to hear a choir of noises. I suppose you all owe them a brief introduction. I give you time to make yourselves known, starting with the closest one. Go on. Gregor, why is it always the ones in front go first? I'm sick of having any sort of lead now. I hear you're going to be our boss. Oh, yeah, our manager. Manager? Yep, which is why I was real curious to meet you. And... Our um, hmm, task forming the right sentence is tough work. Don't know what you do with your old head, but I guess everyone has their story. I'm Gregor, we're in this together, manager, bud. I'm Gregor, we're in this together. He is a sinner, is relatively easy to handle in terms of personality. However, an upsurge of emotion of a, or a sudden change of environment may cause parts or the whole body of his to transform into insecto. Oh. Noble akin to care for through something that of a blank tissues. We do not wish to be a room manager, but that your blood still be nice. We recommend keeping your facial expressions in check so that your disgust is not visible to him. He sometimes uses cynical language, but he can still be reasoned with, and you can get around with him without much difficulty as long as you learn the knack of it. I got Rodin. Greg, they are just your butter pal. You're talking to a person who make us filthy rich. Greg? Rich, what's that about? Let's see, what's better, Dante? Don't mind me if I call you by name. You can call me Rodia. Let's see what's better. Okay, so Rodina, she's a Pecor. The unfortunate traits of being backstreet born are apparent in this center. She loves money, gambling, and betting, so it's advised to pay close attention to her as a manager. She tends to deflect orders with unimpressive wink or silly joke. We recommend taking a stern stance at times to remind her that you are her supervisor. Your her moon may be down at irregular intervals. There's nothing you can do to aid her in the state, so we recommend waiting for the past. I think there's a well good reason we can't manage her. I'm sure you used to be a big deal back in the nest, right? When your final levels start coming back, we'll be much closer to rolling in dough. Foohoo. She doesn't have a sociability, I give her that. Oh gosh, look at me, keep it on. Hey kid, it's your turn next. The sing player. Good day. Ah, oh, boring, that's it. Oh, I am Sinclair. Uh, Vogel. Even with vital nature of human growth around his age, take it into consideration. This sinner seems to get particularly startled or frowned when spoken to. He is used to real combat, meaning he may struggle to keep himself together at the sight of something as mild as split enters at first. As there may be those with fine tendencies among your crew, we recommend taking an approach focused on positive reinforcement with the sinner. He appears to possess a murderous gaze that he himself isn't aware of. This is a hopeful sign that he has potential to grow into an expert of our company's profession with the right stimuli. This boy looks awfully unnerved. Did he even join his company on his own accord? Is, is there anything else I need to say? I've never worked for a company before. Well, if you learn the ropes in the coming days. Okay, then how about you next, nerdy pal? Nisang. I am Nisang. 
Formerly the youngest chief researcher of the Redacted Wing, the center possesses higher intelligence compared to most others. We estimate that everyday conversations with this center will prove difficult for managers selected by our current screening process. Avoiding communication altogether will pose a risk on its own. However, if the center remains silent for a long time, that may see its current process in line until we fall. We recommend waiting him patiently out. That's it? Hmm. No He's smoke or mirrors? I waited for him to be real that he was pulling a prank or something. But he just stared vacantly into the window, the sentry said. <sighs> Ishmael, I can't believe you people are probably introductions a first step to being a member of society. Call me Ishmael, if you please. Alright. She is a hers. You may be disheartened by the defective state of many of your sinners, but do not worry, this sinner is one of the few who carry out most missions without much complaint. She is likely to make reasonable judgments, so it's a good idea to start conversations while looking her way if you're seeking a sound advice. However, you mustn't forget this sinner has survived an absurd voyage in a far and wide body of water. Her patience may run deep, but once you take a wrong turn with her, it will be a difficult task to regain her trust. I heard you glued our bodies back together from pieces. I look forward to working with you. She gave a polite bow before returning to her seat. Although she, although she implies social solidity, blah, 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 she didn't feel like the most amicable sort. Heathcliff, sorry to disappoint because I don't care too much for fitting in. Name's Heathcliff, used to be a professional wrecker for property and people alike. Needs revenge, the center prefers to take action rather than wait for logic to dictate his course. His thoughts and feelings are blatantly invisible in his demeanor, and he has no intention of hiding them. His brashness may cause headaches or physical injury leading to a headache. In the process of forming a relationship, please do, please do note that this is not an indication of serious damage to the center's thought process. If he is fit of rage persists, please contact the Human Resource Department. Once you realize that he is the type that tends to be simple-minded, you'll have easier time handling him. Not under anyone's orders, mind you, I only do buggers that got me nerve. So you better watch it. I'm definitely allergic to cocky gaffers who think they can boss me around. I don't think anything to give that impression. Alright. Don Cote. Tis my turn to speak. I am Don Cote. Okay. Bueno impossible. There is no sinner that can outmatch its levels of passion. If we were to measure an avid aficionado of all things fixer, she adorns herself with a variety of fixer-rated merchandise. It won't affect her performance in combat one way or another. Okay. So there is no need for you to restrict her from keeping her decorations. She is deeply immersed in the role of righteous fixer. Hence the exaggerated manners akin to those of an actor. Has, has such a thing ever existed really? It's advised to play along with her for a smooth mission. So, okay. I am a fixer who shall sprint for dreams side by side. A pleasure to have thee. A fixer. That definitely feels like a term I used to know. Dost thou wish to know what it is? I can't answer this question. The fixers are protected of the city. Oh, perchance thou must struggle to remember the city tis. I believe I said this was a brief introduction. Nee. Don't make me say it twice. Next. Hung Lu. My name is Hung Lu. I hope you get along well. Thank you, Easy. Aye, a sinner who lived a fluent life before becoming our company's asset. As such, he has certain admiration for free life, but occasionally he may take ignorant and unsavory questions in regards to the food cooked by certain other sinner or other aspects of low lives, low culture. This can cause significant infiltration for other sinners. However, it's important to note that no sarcastic, sarcastic undertones are contained in his curious driven words, so it's ill advised to let him get physical over it. Wow, and I look at you. Isn't that a fascinating head there? A popular model these days, I suppose. No, this is that kind of... It's not of my interest, though. He cut. The hell's wrong with your attitude? He cut looked to be just moments away from swinging his bat. But when he realized the red gaze laid on him, he grunted and sat back down. Rushu, okay. As a everyone person has their own breed and its only right to respect it has the second manager, but with some credits you will have difficulty even pretending to suffice. You will notice that the center then questions a silent chain smoker, whose eyes shine with evoric gleam only during battle. She believes the senses destroying the enemy's head is uncultured act in a step battle for art. Caution, this center's background is one that even our company may have trouble handling. It is advised against making her breed personal resentment towards you. Okay. Cool. Nice to meet you. <laughs> At what point was I supposed to laugh? Marisol, please refer to me as such. Um, 
Let's see. Once clear and conscious commands regarding. Oh, my bad. You're pretty polite. This isn't anything special. I'm simply behaving normally. I'm almost touched, Mercy. Yes. It felt as if something were gra gravely miss about him, but I can't seem to pin it down exactly. Oh, this. The way she scanned me up and down was a little daunting. I felt almost compelled to bow to her, but she stopped me with a motion of her hand. Please, I would never make my manager grovel before me. My name is Otis. I would like to apologize for my rudeness earlier. Um, okay, so she, this center could serve as an excellent advisor for depending on your capability. However, she also has a meddlesome tendency, so it's recommended to keep her satisfied with short replies of agreement. She is expert when it comes to tactics and various perils of wisdom about life, making her advice all the more valuable for your mission. In addition, she possesses a vast knowledge of workshop tendencies. You can trust her with the simple repairs of the bus. Unlike other centers, accessing records pertaining to the past of the center is not permitted. Keep an eye on the center and be aware that she does not exercise her cunning and intellect for purposes other than completing our company's mission. Rudeness? Ha ha. Oh please, your generosity is a humbling sight. I knew at first glance that you have what it takes to lead us. Oh, sorry. While most humans cause noise and friction as a result of confrontation, some are able to reap mutual benefits for coming head to head. It could be compared to relationships between a blade and a whetstone. I vow to serve you with unrivaled devotion. Executive manager, my blade is yours to wield. That that's a return, thanks. I gave her an approving nod. Um, even though I still don't get what she meant by rudeness. I'm amazed at how you can sing such bold face high praise too long after calling them a miserable riveting wrench. I think I see it now. <laughs> it seems I'm the last. Foss is a name. Well, they didn't go in order. So, the sinner who developed the engine of Mephitavis, the bus operated by Limus Company. She claims there is no one in the city who can rival her library of knowledge and wisdom, and she isn't necessarily wrong. You might find her high and mighty attitude when she allows you to converse with her depeasing. But as seen with how she treats everyone with subtle gestures of ignorance, there is no hope of her parting with it ever. She seems nice to me though, originally. We recommend simply nodding once and getting over it. Even though she has unparalleled genius, we can't quite figure out how to use this one. Perhaps you could be the one to find out. A genius with whom you're lucky to cross paths even once in your life. Hmm. Sounds like you aren't convinced, Dante. Well, it's fine. You come to learn all due time. Learn what? That Foss is indeed a brilliant mind. When a provable tree falls, the fact of the sound cannot become truth when the outside observer fails to recognize it. Okay. That's enough. Greetings. Dante, let me explain your new application. You mean as a manager. They're asking if the job you're about to explain is that of a manager. Come to think of it, that red-eyed man couldn't hear me and like the that's correct, Executive Manager Dante. You embark on a trip to the Inferno with 12 sinners who just introduced themselves. The Inferno? Why should I go to the Inferno? You're Dante. They're asking why they need to travel to the Inferno. Hmm, how about this? Treasure awaits at the end of the road. Would that suffice? I don't. You mean I used to be a treasure hunter or something? They can't seem to get you at all. I do not ask for your understanding, Dante, nor was this a question of your willingness. You have to listen to me if you want to reclaim your memories in the original head. I mean, I do want them back, but they're hesitant. Uh, Miss Faust, what will we do if Dante keeps Dante on refusing to cooperate? This was not in whether you anticipated. Posterous Faust activated everything in possibility. Dante, once you've completed all your missions, you'll be able to engrave the aspect. I can promise you that. Aspect, a word that strikes my mind intensely even though my memories are gone. My underlying instincts are responding strongly to it. Led by intuition, I make my choice. See there? They're nodding. Good, then we can do. By the way, Sharon, why isn't the bus moving? We're dozing off. The bus driver only soon at rest spots, Gerg. Weirdos were hanging around in front of Mephe. I told you, Sharon, if anything happens with the bus, you get to let me know right away. Mephe, who's that? The name of this bus and the engine that runs it. And false Magnum Opus Cordis. An idea fairy boat to bear us across the inferno. Wouldn't you agree, Dante? I wasn't what he was getting at, so I turned away to look through the windows and take a few by. Looks like they're just another pack of dirty rats living in the back streets. This is just the right time, Dante. This should make a perfect target for practicing your command. Dante, I skipped over many details during our first battle. You were short on time after all. However, we'd be slaughtered frequently if no improvements are made to your strategy. And in turn, you have to endure senseless pain over and over again to revive us. Pain? Revive? You mean what happened earlier was? 
Yes, we're brought back to life because you turned back the clock. Because you could turn back I don't believe that much necessary, Miss Falls. Save the chatter for later, Senator to the Wolf. Allow me to elaborate on combat. I think this is a good ending point. You want to see more of this game? I'm willing to. Link in the description once game for yourself and comment down in the comment section should play more of this. So like always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Comment down below and bye. So we get to like make different teams, they have different level ups. That's cool.